Yeah, birds crack white as their butts. If you're listening to this, you are the blood part. I think I deserve food stamps. I have no one for them. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. I see. So, but I, I love my daddy. Shit. In the manual, it appears that you have to take the regulator off to get to the oil filter, and that should be it. It shouldn't be too hard. It's a freaking motorcycle, right? You go back here right now! You guys, I don't know where my guy's going. You go back in here! Are you kidding me? Oh. So yeah, in the manual, this is not just a plug and play machine, even though it looks to the naked eye like you'd be able, just like any other motorcycle, to pull the drain plug, pull the filter, put the drain plug back in, fill it up. Supposedly, the regulator's back through here. I can see the oil filter. See the oil filter right there. And directly in front of that is the radiator. And directly in front of that is the radiator cover. So we gotta get all that off before we even think about doing this. Go around the other side and point the light at this big black thing. If I know Harley well enough, this is probably not just slip off. Or maybe it is. And my suspicions were correct. Freaking Allen bolts. You know what I mean? Fucking hex keys and shit. Yeah, that's all right. I bitch about everything. All right, so I've been in this situation before. If there's hex keys on a bike, there's chances are the only one that you don't have is the one that you need. And I keep my hex keys on a shelf where I store stuff. I call it the shelf where I store stuff. I got these SAE. Oh shit. I got these. Where are these? Oh shit. These falling apart. That's off of another set <laughs> that is fucking metric. Cool freaking grinder key. You guys ever find grinder keys like this? Save them. You should actually have a drawer full of fucking grinder keys. Okay, these are standard. So surely, oh, there's a little slack in that. This might be metric. Haha, <laughs> that's not too bad. Not too bad. Where my hole at? Yes, whoa. Bye. Two bolts. Little, what do you call that? Bracket. Yeah, who cares? Fuck it. So now, this regulator's gotta come up. Before you can get to the oil filter, let's do it. Fuck. Wait, I need to refer to my book. I need to refer to my book. Alright, so yeah, this... Top? Is it on the frame? Yes. No. So there's brackets. What the fuck is happening? The one in the center stays. The one at the top of this little bracket goes. But if you see in here, this bolt says it goes to that top little bracket. Clearly this one has the hole right there on the frame and in the diagram there's no hole in the frame. So it says this top one and this bottom one on the bottom left. That one and that one but it's clearly not right on the diagram. What the fuck Harley? Oh yeah meet Leo. Leo's my new buddy. <laughs> what the fuck you got in your mouth? Is that like a fucking moth? Leo's my new best friend. Leo is part American Pit Bull Terrier and Mastiff, regular Mastiff, which makes him an American Band Dog. If you've never heard an American Band Dog, check this out. The Band Dog is a vast, stubborn, eager dog of heavy body. The original Band Dogs were bred with a functional purpose. Hunters, fighters and property protectors without a strictly set type. Mastiffs crossed with western bull and bicers and hounds. A cross of both like the war dogs used in the crusades. They range between 23 and a half to 27 and a half inches tall at the shoulders and are usually between 90 to 130 pounds. <laughs> right? So he's gonna get real big. He's only three months old and he's 27 pounds. So he's 30 pounds and he's just like gaining 10 pounds a month pretty big and then for the next six months he'll probably grow to about 100 pounds we don't know yet we'll see you know every fucking dog's different but he's a good dog now fuck off back to this it pops off what the hell is this what the fuck so that's some bullshit right where does it fucking show goddamn plug sorry i need a beer i need to get a beer i'm fucking up without a beer Beer. All right, you can drink it at least. By this stage in my life, I'm pretty much drinking water and beer all day long. Chicken at night, 
water and beer during the day. Why am I staring at that? Let's search out the goddamn oil plug. Ha ha! See if this shit's accurate. If this shit isn't accurate, we're straight fucked, boys. So there's the exhaust, which means it's on the rear left side. So let's go look. Yep, right there, right there. Why is it rusty as shit already? Anyway, let's find a thing that... A thing. Oil pan. No. It's not gonna fucking work. Solo cup. Wonder if I got any vomit bags. Hmm. Tupperware from the kitchen? Tupperware from the kitchen. Fuck off out of there. Get it. All right, now what size is the fucking plug? Half inch? No. It's a 12. No. It's a 13. Ow, fuck, I just hit my head on the peg. Ah, you fucking dick, that hurts so bad. Ah! Oh my god. I don't want to die in here. Is it bleeding? Shit. Fuck off, get off. God damn it. Oh. So, uh. Dog! God, bit me in the fucking ear. God, get- Lay down on some. Sit, that's good enough. Fuck sakes. So, it's a 13 millimeter. Harley Davidson, metric. Do you see where it says 13 millimeter? What do you know? It's on there tight. Mm. Ah! Oh yeah, that's blacker than shit, isn't it? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it should not be in a brand new motorcycle. Fabulous glitter. Woo! Fucking break in. It's bad. All right, let's let that drain for about 30 minutes. Fuck. Oh yeah, release your vacuum by taking your dipstick out. Time to take the fucking filter out, don't you think? You fucking put the filter right over the frame. You were almost cool, but now you're not. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck. Supposed to have an oil filter wrench, right? Fuck. That's not fucking hand tight. Get at it from a different angle, huh? Ah, fuck. Last try before we go get an oil wrench. I don't fucking want to do that. Ah, fuck. Come on! Shit. What if I just leave the filter in this time? I know it's got all that little break-in in it, but... What if I just leave the filter there? It's only been 1,500 miles. Shh, I can't do that. Ah! Uh, it's the next day. Filter wrench. Leo, fuck off out of there. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Pepperoni pizza crap. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, dude. Come on, you cock. Knocker? I've never used one of these before. How the fuck do you use this thing? God damn it. Fuck, okay. Well, shit. <clears throat> Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have fucked with? Okay. Fuck, I shouldn't have had to do that. Jesus Christ. I got you. I beat you, you. Fucking greasy bastard. Holy apes ra Holy apes rashed butthole. Does it fit? It appears so, Bob. So, my dumbass went ahead and ordered the, the, the oil that's in it, which is a uh, genuine Harley Davidson 20W50, but I've been told, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I've been told that this is just Sidco oil. Conventional Sidco oil. So I'm putting it in this time. I might cycle it out next time, but supposedly I only need I have to change the oil for like another 2,000 miles after this. But we'll see. This oil didn't do too well, did it? It is black as midnight. Fucking obsidian. Blacker than a sharpie butthole. But all right, get some oil up in there. This one's got this filter's got some jelly grease all the way around the O-ring, but still gonna put some oil on it just because. Don't forget to whistle while you work while you put your aftermarket Japanese filter in. <laughs> I forgot that I don't know how to whistle. Ugh. There, hand tight, damn it. I know you're thinking to yourself, how the fuck long does it take a motherfucker to change his oil? But I gotta tell you, shut up. Hold on. It's kinda like a dog dick. Okay, that's good. We're good. Not mean, no I'm saying, no I'm saying. No I'm saying. You're saying, no I'm saying too many times. 80, 90 times. Saying, not mean, no I'm saying. That's too many times. One. Two quarts of fancy sauce. And a half. 
I'm actually going to start with 2.4 just because I like to control stuff and I don't like to listen to people. We all have faults. Just about a half a quart there, do a little blurb. And after searching umpteen thousand freaking videos on YouTube trying to figure out what the hell's going on with the oil change on these sons of bitches, you're welcome. Take a shit. Take a shit. Wipe your ass both ways. I wipe from front to back and then back to left. Just like I wipe windows. Spare. 